Hey guys, today I'm just going to be going through my simple YouTube filming setup. As you can see here, I'm filming with my mobile phone at the moment just to capture everything that I use for filming. This here is just my camera. Um, the model of this camera is a Canon EOS 6 Mark II, M6 Mark II. Just turn that around and show you that one. Pretty simple. I do have a couple of these small rigs and obviously I also have a few different types of tripods that I use to mount mobile phones as well as cameras. Um, this is my computer that I use to edit and excuse the filthy keyboard. It is clean. I do wipe it down but isn't it disgusting how white you get the Mac keyboard and it ends up being so filthy and dirty. I don't understand it. Anyway, uh, but yeah, guys, this is pretty much my setup. And usually I just sit in that chair and off away I go. Now I do have additional things that I like to use if I don't have good lighting. As you can see here, I like to sit in front of the window and use natural light with my filming. Uh, I do have two big massive studio lights which I usually only use one if I have to use it but when it's not that bright and I just want a tiny bit of a touch of um, brightness I use this little thing here this little device it's like a little light and you can turn it on I'll show you how it looks like it's got different it's got different sort of settings and um, let me just do that and turn it on so as you can see there's you know different types of um colors there's a uh, different warm there's um it can go really really bright obviously and it can go really 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 dim um i could just change the color temperature of that one which is where is that one other mode here we go it's this one here cool warm and um i think natural but yeah it's got three different color settings so that's pretty good i love this um, little device for sort of um mounting in areas where i need to have a little bit more lighting and obviously me being as lazy as i am really don't pull out the, the studio lights only like i said if i really really have to i do have a microphone that i like to use on top of my camera which is just this road um it's the pro oh gosh which one is it which one is this one it's the i don't know it's the pro one which i can link in the description below but i just pretty much mount that on top of my camera here like so excuse my broken wrist um but yeah that's pretty much what i do just mount it on there and it clips in i obviously have a number of different lenses for my camera that i like to shoot with but at the moment i've just been really really loving whatever this one is which is i think it's the 18 to 55 yeah that's it the 18 to 55. so guys um that is pretty much my setup i do then once I finish recording, I pretty much download everything to my computer and I start editing. I also just wanted to say thank you so much for the support in my YouTube channel. I did start it on the 2nd of August, 2022, and I have only recently just gotten over to 1,500 subscribers. So it's a small growing channel. Really just loving doing YouTube and hopefully one day this will be my full-time job. So there is that. And uh, yeah, for those of you guys just starting out on your new YouTube journey, I wish you all the best. I'm sure you'll probably be succeeding way way more than I probably have been with 
every video that I watch in terms of trying to do proper search engine optimization, SEO for short, I just sort of fail to, I don't know, get the views that I like. And, you know, um, having said that, I do have a lot of people reaching out to me saying, you know, we could um, do proper search engine optimization on your channel. But I don't know, I don't think that, I don't feel that would be organic growth. The only other thing that I have also tried is vidIQ and TubeBuddy. But really, am I just stupid and I don't know, I don't know, maybe you know how to really use those tools properly to their best of, <laughs> best ability. Um, I also had a vidIQ coach, really, really lovely, helped me out so much. Uh, but really at the end of the day, it's all about how well you can do your thumbnails, how well you can, you know, do a title and it's all a work in progress. But I am obsessed with watching videos that are how to grow your YouTube channel. And I thought I really just wanted to do a video showing you my setup and here it is. So I'm not going to sugar sugarcoat anything. And guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the description box below. I love reading comments and I would really love to know how you're also going in your YouTube journey. Yeah, thank you so much for all your support and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.